Hi everyone, welcome to Sincerely Molly, where I share all the things I love, and since it's October, all that is spooky. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Sanderson Sisters spell book from Hocus Pocus. This is one of my favorite Halloween movies, so I just had to DIY this. Also, I've said previously how I prefer subtle Halloween decor, and while this one is quite creepy, it is a festive addition to a bookcase or coffee table. Let's get into it. Here's what you'll need. Grab your hardcover book and have a reference photo handy. Start off by outlining where the seams of the book meet. This doesn't have to be perfect because either way you'll end up with some cool depth and achieve the right look. Cut five pieces of the rope to then hot glue to the spine of your book. Hot glue over your pencil lines to create ridges for the seams. With your paper towel, tear up pieces to fit in each section or as close as possible. Fill in as needed. Once you have the pieces ready, Add a layer of Elmer's glue to the book and begin gluing them down by adding another layer of glue on top. This technique gives a kind of cool leathery texture. Cut one of the ping pong eyeballs in half. I will say this was quite difficult to do so be very careful. You may want to consider even using clay and painting the eye. Once the eye is hot glued down, add a couple layers of folded paper towel to create the lid of the eye. Once the glue is dry, add black paint to all raised surfaces. Later on, this will give a shadowing effect. While the black paint is still somewhat wet, add a dark brown paint like so. Fill in the middle with a light brown or tan and blend as needed, again while the other paint isn't completely dry. I find dabbing the sponge in the way that you would for a stencil blends the paint nicely giving it better highlights and shadows. Once the paint and the coloring is to your liking, take your hot glue gun and begin to create stitches along the seams. When dried, take a mix of the dark brown and gold paint and paint over them. Now for what I found to be the tedious part. With the clay, mold the shapes of the metal pieces of the book. The one closest to the spine is a long, flat rectangle with a snake on top. The next are coiled snakes. To do these, it's almost like tying a knot. and the clasp is just an oval and a small rectangle. Let air dry based on the directions of the clay or bake in the oven. Once the clay is hardened, paint over it with the black paint. After that dries, go over it with a silver, allowing the eyes and divots and such to remain black. If you look at the book from the movie, these features are an antique looking, somewhat tarnished metal, so just adding a thin layer of that silver on top is enough. Now that's a bunch of hocus pocus. I hope you all liked this Halloween tutorial. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and feel free to share this with a friend who equally loves this movie. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!